Sometimes nut butter sounds like a really dirty word. Today we're doing a favorites video because it's been a while and I've been liking a lot of shit and not telling you about it, which is rude. I've been digging a lot of things. Like I've been really into a lot of things. My shoulders get excited when I'm into things. Let's go. Vitamix Blender. Do so you got me a Vitamix Blender for Christmas? Oh my god. Do you use a blender? Throw it away. Get this one. If you're someone that likes to make your own smoothies, if you're someone that makes sauces or soups or dressings. I was none of those things until like a year ago and now I'm all of those things, I'm all about it. You can make your own nut butters, what? I mean, I should just start with that. Sometimes you gotta make your own nut butters. Sometimes nut butters are expensive. Sometimes nut butter sounds like a really dirty word, like really dirty euphemism. For what? I don't know, that's you, that's all on you. You you said it. That's some shit I like right now. Wanna know what to drink? I'll tell you what to drink. Smirnoff Spike Sparkling Seltzer. Smirnoff, I just like saying it fast. I recently partnered with Smirnoff and it is a match made in heaven. I freaking love these. Like I love, like love these. Like I could drink them on the daily. If you don't know what these are, these are Spike Sparkling Seltzers. So they basically just taste like flavored seltzer water. Amazing. You hipsters with your lacroix. This is my lacroix. It's way better. It is infused by science with natural flavors. No artificial sweeteners. 90 calories, zero sugar. Crafted to remove gluten, if you're into that. I don't know what that means, but that sounds like something I want to have in a beverage. And it comes in a variety of flavors. And I like all of them and we're a family and we love each other and we don't need anybody else. We don't need a man. I mean, I have a man. I like him. I... But we don't need no man. Where did this tangent go? These are great. What else? You wanna know what to eat? I'll tell you what to eat. I think in my last favorites video, I said my favorite ice cream was so delicious soy chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Well, now it's not. Out the window, throw it away. I got a better one for you. So delicious salted caramel. Holy shit. Oh, if I could hold it like a person and make out with it, uh, that would be cheating and I wouldn't do it. But I will eat, I will consume it as ice cream in an appropriate context. It's delicious. So delicious. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. What else? Oh, cashew frozen dinners in the amaranth plantain. I know that sounds like really douchey. It just sounds douchey as it's coming out my mouth, but it's so good. It's like warm bananas mixed with wholesome grains. It's good for you, I think. I don't know. At least it's packaged that way. I believe it. It's some shit I really like right now. Next, what to watch. I'll tell you what to watch. Like I said, it's been a while since my last favorites video, but since then, Black Mirror has been something that I've watched uh, all three seasons of. I suggest starting at the third season and then the second season and then watching the first season. You don't have to watch them in order. It's kind of like a Twilight Zone for the modern digital age. It's freaky because it's like this stuff could probably happen. Very fascinating, also frightening. Also, The Last Man on Earth, great show. Steve found it when we were on a plane coming back from Singapore. He showed it to me when we got back home and it's so funny, we binged watched three seasons and they're like long seasons. I wish we didn't binge watch the seasons. I wish I could erase my brain and then um, watch it over again like I never watched it before. That's some shit that would happen on Black Mirror. Movie wise, Passengers. Yeah, I saw La La Land a couple days ago and it's winning all these awards right now, but honestly, I thought Passengers was like a way more interesting movie. I felt like it was, well, there's a naked Chris Pratt but quite a few times in there. One where he's in the shower, and then there's one where he's not in the shower in case you prefer your Chris Pratt butts more dry. I mean, I like, I like him, I'm, I'm not picky. I go either way. There's also a naked Jennifer Lawrence in there, but, but you know, she's very classy. You don't see any nips or anything like that. Just a lot of Crack, crack. Am I selling you on this yet? I thought it had a really unique script. I thought it used a lot of imagination. I loved the storyline. I think it was really good. It was. I enjoyed it. It was a delightful movie. Simply delightful. Just really delightful. Please go be delighted in it. Next, want to wear? I'll tell you what to wear. I've been really into some shit to wear. I have been really digging this hat. This was from Free People. It looks like suede, but it's made 100% out of cotton. It's really love the texture. It's clean. It hides my dirty hair when I want it to do that, so it's very helpful. It doesn't have any logos, it just, 
it just a well-fitting hat. It's a hat that just makes me feel like chill. I'm a chill girl, what? Have a beer with me. Tell me all your girl problems. I'm fucking chill, I'm so chill, I'm just so chill. We could go to the beach, we could go to a bar, we could go to a baseball game. I'm just really chill. These, I've been really into these. The ring light is making them look real funky, but this one looks way more shiny and blue and this one looks like way more shiny and rose gold. I got them at Nordstrom. I've never gotten Quay glasses before. I just see people tagging Quay on everything and maybe I wanted to see what it was about and I really like them. I like, I get it. I really like them. Like these are so, these are just so cute. These are so cute that I accidentally got chrome rose gold nails to match them. I mean, I didn't purposely do that. I just, I guess this just got in my head. It got in my head. It was on my head and it got in my head. The vibes. Also, chrome nails, cool. Way better than regular nails. Do you even, do you even, do you even chrome? Super shiny and like you can see yourself in them. I've just never had nails do that. I've had metallic nails before, but not chrome nails. These are some chrome ass nails. They've been matching my shades. And we've been going through the hood like this. And by the hood, I mean Studio City. I actually don't really leave my house. Also these. Oh yes. Oh yes, show it off. Show it off. Show it off. These are high-waisted black jeans from Madewell and they make your butt look good. Next, what do you want to read? I'll tell you what to read. This is a book I picked up in an airport in Los Angeles on my way to Singapore because I thought, hey, I should have some reading materials to keep my mind sharp for the 20 hour plane ride. And I picked up this book, which has a really cheesy title. It's like kind of an embarrassing title. I'm sorry, Jen Sincero. This is, it's You Are, you are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I really like her writing style. It's, you know, one of those books that motivate you. I feel like she writes like I think, so it was really weird reading it because it felt like just my own voice. I agree with every single thing she says in here. A lot of it I already knew and just needed that reminder for. And then some of it was like something that I really needed to hear. Like I might have heard it before, but it just didn't really fit that chapter of my life and it fits this one. She's a life coach, she's a she's a businesswoman, she's great. I don't know her, but she seems great. Oh, here's a picture of her. Hey Jen, you're great. It's delightful. Some shit I really like right now. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Next, wanna know what to smell? I'll tell you what to smell. Get your nostrils ready for this. Tobacco antique soy candle. Oh my goodness. It smells like a very clean man and Christmas. Two things I really enjoy, right there in this candle. This was a recommendation from Jess Lazama, one of my favorite people on YouTube. She has a lifestyle blog, she's great. I could go on and on and on about how much I love her. Uh, but she had this burning in her house one day and I really enjoyed it. So I f then saw it in a store and I bought it. And I also bought her another one because I know she liked it. It's a good, like, like feels like you're camping with a man during Christmas time. Yeah, this. Or maybe you are a man and you're just enjoying Christmas. I, I don't know. I don't know your life. Buy this candle though. Speaking of Jess Lazama, she also got me these that I'm obsessed with. Peter Thomas Roth six piece mask kit. They're different face masks and they make your skin glow. They're just really great. Jess got me these for Christmas, but I think they sell them at Sephora. I'm into these. They're just, what's the word? Delightful. They're just so delightful. And I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's it. Wow, I thought it was gonna go way slower than that. Anyway, um, I feel like that was a lot of shit that I liked and I feel like we got through it fast, so I don't know how that happened. Usually I'm very long-winded, but it's something I'm working on. Maybe it's working. High five me. Thank you for watching. I'll put the links to all of those items in the description if I can find them, you know. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you sometime soon. Probably soon. I mean, probably. Unless I decide to take a nap for a really long time. Oh cool, there's still a price tag on the bottom of this. Classic limo. Real stuck on there. Okay, cool, I'm just gonna leave.